Hey, welcome to Live Edge, episode number 15. Tonight, we're gonna to talk about online selling tips. So how to better sell your woodworking online. Hey I'm, guys. I'm Matt. <laughs> I'm Amy. This is 731 Woodworks Live Edge. Coming from a new location. Yep, from the new studio. Studio. <laughs> studio. So this uh, we used to be the dog room. I don't know if you guys uh, follow us on Instagram or Facebook, but we put out a uh, video on the new studio and we kind of redid some things so that we don't have to break everything down, like the lighting, the table, sound system, all that down and then back up every week. So it's a lot more convenient for us to come in here. I can just set the camera up, make sure everything's working and then we can roll. Well, I so. got people from Mississippi in here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all drop, drop a comment. Let me know where you're from. Yep. Let us know. Uh, just so you know, tonight's episode is uh, sponsored by Masca Products. Uh, we've got a new sponsor on the channel. Uh, they've uh, we've been working together for a week now, and uh, they've been really good to me. So if you guys would uh, check them out, MascaProducts.com, or uh, there's an affiliate link in the description below. If you use that link and buy anything, we get a small commission, but it costs you nothing extra. They're really good people. Really good people. Canada again. Canada. Say eh? it. <laughs> <laughs> I like Canada, eh? Mm -hmm. So tonight we're going to talk about selling products online. But first, I want to give a shout out. So I got in the mail, it's kind of mail call time, a glue bot. I had one a long time ago and uh, I accidentally, it broke or something. I think it just, it broke from overuse. And so I haven't got, had one in a long time. I just never picked another one up. And then this also, this is a uh, automatic nail punch or center punch, so that's fantastic. I appreciate uh, Lindsay Moore for sending this to me. Uh, I'll be using it a lot. I'm, I'm writing stuff down, okay. so you just you so keep quick going. shop update today, or yesterday we were making a video and, and building a, a deck makeover, and so that'll be coming out hopefully this next week, and then we also were building today, we're building the outdoor sectional build, and we're kind of stumbling through it as we go and trying to figure things out mm -hmm. because uh, she has a certain way she wants it to look, and we're trying to to get to that look and keep it, and you know, we, approachable. And we've made a couple of errors. Um, not errors. We found ways it wouldn't work. There you go. And then so now we're we're it, it actually is going to work out for the better. I think yeah. because I actually forgot that it needed legs in the corner, <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to work out. Uh, it's <laughs> like off Golden Girls. It's a delicious mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Only my uh, Golden Girl people out there will get yeah. that. Puerto Rico. Yeah, I like Puerto Rican coffee. Yeah, Lloyd he was Wagoner. out for days. Is this Lloyd Wagoner in the house? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about selling products online. So I don't sell large items. So if you're looking for large items like big tables and stuff, I don't sell those online because the shipping is insane. You wind up paying more than what the cost to build the thing just to ship it freight shipping. So I don't ship any large items, but things like stove covers, flags, uh, those scrap wood projects. And if you've seen that video, you can check it out. 10 scrap wood project ideas. Those things ship easily. You ship those things easy. So if you're shipping that kind of stuff, the small things, that's what we're going to be talking about. How to market those, where to sell them at, that kind of thing. And so I started out selling stuff on Facebook. And the way you need to do that is if you're just putting it on your personal profile and then putting it in marketplace and places like that, you're not going to get as many sales. You might get a few, but what you need to do is create your own business page or your own Facebook page for your woodworking. So if your woodworking business has a name, ours is 731 Woodworks. We just created a Facebook page, 731 Woodworks. And then you take that and you create, start posting content on that, that thing, just like you would Instagram or any other place. You start making posts and it not just for sale posts, but just Content posts showing your work, showing the uh, progress of your work, giving people a little bit of behind the scenes on what you're building. And then when you get that finished product, you're going to stage it up real nice and you're going to take several pictures of it, really nice pictures, good lighting. If it's in the daytime or whatever, mate, I don't really wouldn't recommend taking them at night, uh, but take good lighted pictures, good quality pictures, have them staged properly, and then post that to your Facebook profile. Once it's posted, you'll see a little blue button under it that says boost. And that's gonna cost you some money, but not a lot. You can hit that boost button and go through the Facebook ads program and it'll walk you right through it, how to set it up. You can spend five bucks on an ad. I mean, you can do $5 a day, you can do $2 a day, you can do $10 a day, whatever you want to spend on the ad. 
it will depend on how much it's shown. I mean, but they work and they work pretty well. Uh, I've been boosting some posts. I don't know if you've guys seen it, boosting some posts on my woodworking plans. There's one particular post that I've been boosting. And when I boosted it, it actually drives traffic to my website. And then there's, I tried to create a video ad. I created a video ad and put it out there and went through the ads program and done something totally different than a boosted post and it didn't work. It just fell flat. So the boosted posts actually work pretty well. Uh, it costs us some money, obviously, but just the old adage goes, you, you got to spend money to, to make money. And so that's one of the things I would recommend on selling on Facebook. And then make sure you're posting to that page regularly. Not Don't just post and then boost, post, boost, post. You don't want to do that, but you want to make it to where you got a lot of content on there that, that if someone is interested in your work, if they see that boosted post, a lot of times they'll just click on your profile and go and look through what you're building. So that'll help you boost up some of those, those online sales too. The giveaway tonight's a jigsaw, right? Oh, I forgot to mention bug. Well, you somebody, remember. well, somebody, uh, June was asking, yeah. said, thought it was for a handheld router, but the That's description next week. says June. That's next week. Okay, June. So, I was fixing to answer you, but we got you. Real quick break. If you're interested in this jigsaw, it's never been opened. I'm pretty sure there's a jigsaw in there. This is the exact same jigsaw I've got, which is why I didn't open it. It is a fantastic jigsaw. There's a link in the description below to gleam.io. Go click that link. You, We are drawing for that jigsaw tonight, live at, on this show. At an unknown time. At an unknown time, and you must be present to win. <laughs> now, next week, we are giving away the Bosch router. That's when you'll see next week, because it ends on the 30th, I hope. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then the week after that, we got some more stuff to give away on the live show. So we got a lot of good stuff coming for you guys. So, yep, go check it out in the description below and go to gleam.o, enter the giveaway. There's multiple uh, chances for multiple entries on there if you go through those. And they're pretty simple. It'll take you a couple minutes to get all that done. And then come, make sure you just open that up in a new tab if you're on desktop. Hey, well, since you've already but we're broke for that. We're before you get back on your thought, let me give a shout out to our people. We've got Iowa, Washington, D.C., Nevada, Oklahoma, Virginia, New York, Kentucky, Vermont, Massachusetts, Alabama, Michigan, Mississippi, California, Wisconsin, Louisiana, Rhode Island, Illinois, Oregon, Ohio, Colorado, Utah, Arkansas, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, Maryland, Canada, A. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota, Georgia, Texas, North Carolina, Nebraska, New Brunswick, Kansas, Puerto Rico, Missouri, New Jersey, Nova Scotia, and U.K. I may have repeated some of those. <laughs> if I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, so be sure if you're just checking in, just keep reminding me of this. So we'll send people to gleam.o so we can, you can, everybody can have a chance to enter. The Bosch router giveaway next week, you don't have to be present to win that one. Okay, so if, if you're worried about if you're going to miss the show next week and not, as long as you're entered, you're entered, and I'll contact you if you're not live on that show. Uh, we would like to have you, but if you've got other, other commitments, we understand. But the one tonight, it, we will be giving away live on the show. The jigsaw. So back to the Facebook post. Uh, let me see. Where was that? I really yeah. don't know. Yeah. Get back so to you. Thought. I, there you I, go. No, I was already through Facebook. <laughs> so Instagram, I don't sell anything on Instagram. I've tried to run a few ads on Instagram, and they just they don't return nothing. Like you're paying a bunch of money per click. And when I say a bunch of money, you're up at like, 18 to 20 cents per click. And that's a lot of money to spend on a, somebody clicking on your ad or your picture. And so I don't, I've not wasted any money on that. And I've, I've wasted a little bit. I'm not wasting any more on there. I just, I don't find that helpful. I don't know. I haven't met many creators who make much money off of Instagram as far as they're posting stuff for sale on there and people actually come and buy it from them through Instagram. Uh, it's just, yeah, for whatever reason, it, to me, it doesn't generate that kind of traffic. I, if you have had that success, please uh, comment and let people know. But Instagram just hasn't hasn't been well. It's not suited for that. It's just not built for that type of, of traffic. Most of the time, people are just scrolling through Instagram. Now, certain things on Instagram, I've scrolled through and saw a T-shirt, and I was like, yeah, I like that, clicked on it, and went and bought it, and it was a sponsored post. I mean, so those type things work, but... I don't know if woodworking projects, if you have something unique, it may work, but Instagram just doesn't do it for me. Uh, on Etsy selling, so if we're going to talk about ed selling on woodworking on Etsy. I had a lot of success on Etsy, but it took me quite a while to figure out how to do that stuff. You have to be a student of Etsy. Start watching videos on Etsy. I've got a video on how to sell woodworking on Etsy. 
I've, I'm fixing to build a course that you can uh, sign up for. Uh, details coming later on. Uh, it will be a very detailed how to set your shop up, how to set your um, Etsy listings up to make sure they rank in search or try to get them to rank in search because that's the main thing. Etsy is a search engine. It's just like YouTube or Google. It's a search engine. So if, if, if people are searching for a product, you need to have your stuff optimized so that it shows up up the top or at least close to the top because most people is not going to go past the first or second page uh, when they're looking for a product. And so Etsy, uh, one of the main things on Etsy is it takes money to, to make money there. I was spending, I started out at $3 a day, I think it was. We were spending on ads for our stove covers. And then uh, I went to $5 a day. It was more than you could handle. And I couldn't keep up yeah. with the orders because I was getting so many orders. And it, <laughs> you got to have time to build that stuff. And I'm trying to work a full-time job plus build things on the side. And so it just got to be too much. So I dropped it back to $3 a day. And I actually started, uh, I was able to keep up, but I was really, really busy. Graph says paying for ads on Etsy is huge. It is. It's everything. And if you're not, mm -hmm. I mean, you can still make some sales. I'm not saying you have to spend the money to make sales, but you will make more money in sales than you will ever spend on ads. However, with that being said, if, you're, if your Etsy store isn't set up, the store and the listings aren't set up correctly, it doesn't matter what type of ad you run, it's still not going to generate the traffic because Etsy still needs that data that you've put in there and set up correctly for it to actually drive traffic. And if you don't have that set up correctly, then it's not going to do anything. It's just, you're just going to be wasting your money on that. Well, and Margaret says Etsy is hard to sell on. Pricing is competitive. It is. Mm -hmm. So you have to find something that sets you apart from all those others. Mm -hmm. There can't be a competition between them. If yours is better or beats unique. them in some way, some unique way. Mm -hmm. so, so like, but it's hard. We had stove covers and we were the only one on Etsy. I don't have them on there anymore because I don't have time to build them. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's a market. I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to build some stove covers, nobody was building our design. We've got plans on our website that shows you our design. If you build that design and set up your listings correctly, I made, what was it like? If you go look at that Etsy video, I had made $20,000 in, I don't remember how many months there as I was selling on Etsy. And so you go look at that. I mean, $20,000 uh, extra a year is, is big money. Of course, you got to pay taxes and fees and stuff like that. I think it was like a $13,000 profit. So you can go watch that Etsy video. I'll break that down and show you my, my analytics and everything and show you what we were making. Uh, but I mean, that just, it just goes to show you, you just got to have a unique product. If you're selling cutting boards, I even demonstrated that on, on the Etsy video, uh, that there was like thousands and thousands of results for cutting boards. Now, are people selling on there? Sure they are, but you got to be able to differentiate yourself somehow on there. Uh, also, you have to raise your prices from what you would normally sell locally to include shipping, because if you offer free shipping on Etsy, then your listing gets better. Uh, performance by Etsy's own own statements on some of their posts. They'll tell you uh, they will they will show priority to free shipping because that's what the customers want. So you just have to figure in that cost on the back end, on the front end when you list their item. And so what we did was if we ship from here to California, it's fifty dollars. If we ship from here to the next state over, it's sixteen to twenty dollars. So I just went thirty bucks all in, and I raised all my prices thirty bucks and offered free shipping on everything. And then sometimes, you know, you lose a little bit because, you know, lose as far as you're shipping more, costs you more to go to uh, California or if they bought the next state over, then you kind of want a little bit back there. So it just depends on who's who's the majority of your buyers are. If you start seeing a bunch of sales from California or it just depends on where you're at. If it's all the way across the country, you start seeing a bunch of sales and it's like your shipping costs are more than you may have to raise your prices up a little bit. Oh, Scott Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee for me. <laughs> That's Thank two cups because I didn't get her one last week yet. Mm -hmm, they bought me more one cup last week too. I don't See know that. About that. <laughs> 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 so so that's Etsy in a nutshell as far as selling just be unique don't be afraid to spend a little money now it takes about two weeks to get when you start buying ads it takes about two weeks for the for the algorithm to pick you up I'm sure that's built in so they can make a little extra money but if you're spending three dollars a day three times seven is 21 that's 42 dollars in two weeks you just call it an investment well somebody was asking you about that I'm trying to get back to it they were asking how that three to five dollars worked 
here it is. What was your average ad spend per sale on cutting boards and or noodle boards? Is it always the three to five per sale or how does that work? So the way Etsy sales work is if you, so you're spending $3 a day, it doesn't matter how many sales you make. If you make no sales or if you make 10 sales, you're still spending that they're going to take $3 per day out of your, your money. Uh, but also Etsy automatically advertises your stuff through Google. Now they changed that back last year. And so it doesn't matter if you never post an ad. Now they're automatically running your ads when somebody searches for something on Google. If, if it surfaced because they've part now Etsy has bought the ad for you or for their, their, their store or for their website. And if your product happens to be the one that shows up and they click through and buy that product, uh, based on the ad that Etsy run, they're going to charge you like a crazy amount, like 15% or something crazy. I got pretty sideways upset about that because I was like, mm -hmm. that ain't right. Because <laughs> they were taken out of my pocket when I didn't advertise it. And it was still, it, it was more than I think they should have been taken, but it's just my opinion. Hold on. I think we need to start over. Jimmy Long just got here. Oh, well, right. sorry, man. Start over. <laughs> I got you, man. Here we go. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome uh, to live. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> the stove cover uh, plans are available. Yep, they're on the website. 203 Seven, Designs was asking about that. 731boards.com slash store. Uh, like and those of you that are asking questions, we are going to start taking questions. Yep. Here in just a few minutes. Uh, yeah, in a little mm -hmm. bit. So we're not ignoring you. No, we're not. Uh, so this is the way the show, a lot of people has asked the show that we do the content first and take the Q&A so that on the rewatch, a lot of people get more value uh, out of that. So that's what we're trying to do. Trying to bring value. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so echoey in here. It is. We got but it. But they so, like it. They, they like it. You like so. the echo, echo, echo? No, they like the, the look oh, of I the do setup. Too. So just, so we'll break here. Because yeah. it's a live show. Get, get back there in a minute. So what, what I want to do is, uh, I got some, uh, I want to add some <laughs> accent lights back here up in the corner. Uh, some strip lights that will be kind of accent the lighting behind us. And then Miss 731, have we talked about this already or was that on the members only? <laughs> no, we haven't. That was members only. Uh, so Miss 731. you're from the formula. <laughs> Miss 731, a rule's meant to be broken. Miss 731 ordered me us a sign that's going to uh -huh. go here. It's an acrylic sign hey, that will sit there and it'll say, it will it's it lights up and it says on air and then it has 731 on it. It's acrylic. It's supposed it's, to be here today. It's etched acrylic. I'm, I'm interrupting you, but that's just part of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It's so cool. It was supposed to be here today, but supposed to, supposed to, supposed to and supposed it didn't to. make it. So it didn't make it's supposed it. to be here tomorrow, I guess. Or it just says delayed. So. <laughs> well, I'm glad you don't hear an echo. That's awesome. Thank oh, you. Oh, good. June doesn't hear an echo. So the way we hear things here is a little bit different than it actually mm -hmm. comes out after it gets processed really and weird. sent out. So uh, when we rewatch it, uh, I guess we probably should have done a test recording. It's funny because before we uh, go live every week. We, we talk to each other with these on and we giggle at each other <laughs> for the longest time. Hey, Kenneth Long, man. Thank you. We're not at truck all. Truck driver, man. My dad was a truck driver for a long time. So was her dad. So mm -hmm. got a lot of respect for you guys. You keep the country rolling. Yeah, my dad drove an uh, 18-wheeler. Mm -hmm. I drove it once. <laughs> so yeah. if we're going to get back on topic here, uh, Craigslist, uh, I don't know. Is anybody, I'd like to know if you sell anything on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. I tell you, when I first started, I posted those Jay Bates chairs uh, on Craigslist. I got a call from somebody in Miami who said they wanted 2,500 of them. I'm like, huh? Yeah, and, that was weird. And I was like, yeah, no. It was, they wanted me to start building them. And I was like, yeah, it don't make no sense. So I, I just, I've never had good luck with Facebook. And I've always had heard horror stories. About, I mean, not Facebook, but Craigslist. I've always heard bad things about Craigslist. So I don't personally use Craigslist. Graf says it's dead. So. Yeah. So I just, <laughs> I use uh, Facebook Jar -Jar to sell. The same is what thing. we were selling a lot of our products through Facebook. We got a bunch of sales through Facebook, mm -hmm. like a bunch. I got some of my most loyal customers through Facebook sales, just posting on different places. Rebecca, like Fireman Joe, all of them are saying that sketchy. Craigslist is a sketchy mm -hmm. scam place. That's what we think of it too. We, we used to watch a lot of the court shows people's and they court. always talked about <laughs> Craigslist. So I don't know if there's very many people around here that use it. No, it's just, it's very few people around here. Offer up is, I, I, I don't know that it got a whole lot of traction either. It's I've heard, asked, I've had people ask me about offer up selling on offer up and I just, I've never seen much. Oh, I've downloaded the app and there's just not much traffic on there. And I don't, for, to me, that's more of a yard sale thing. Like Mary garage Man sale, said, yard sale. 
scams on there too. Rebecca said that Facebook is the way to do it now. You're, I agree, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is if I'm selling online. Howdy, Joe. I would be looking at posting on, if you don't want to open an Etsy store, I recommend Etsy stores if you're making stuff. If you don't mind making the same thing over, 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 over. Because if the problem with selling one-off things on Etsy is the the algorithm doesn't have because when, you're, when well, you go out of stock of something, it just it doesn't it doesn't like that it doesn't like you being out of stock of an item, and so it hurts your your store overall. If you have products that never run out of stock and people continually order, the more they order, the better it surfaces in search, and I mean it's the whole algorithm thing. Like I said, I'm, I'm I want to do a course on that in the coming weeks and really do a deep dive into Etsy if you're interested. And I'll show you how I set my store up and how we had success with it. And hopefully somebody else can too. But uh, Facebook's the way to go. I would boost those posts. Uh, like I said, you can charge it $5. Boost a post for $5. You can do it over a two-day period, a three-day period, whatever, you, however you want it, whatever your budget is. And depending on what you're selling, if you're, if you're selling small, a small amount of items, then this may not be worth it. But if you're selling furniture style items, you've got a $275 furniture piece and you want to boost that post with ten dollars you might as well just figure that into the cost of the build because you can just boost it and see what happens i mean worst case scenario you blew 10 bucks you probably wasted that at walmart yesterday you know rich I mean? inc says how do you get payment from facebook we used paypal mm -hmm. um but facebook has something i don't know how new it is how recent it is but Big i I bought some, see, we're sitting so close now. I, I bought some, <laughs> something from somebody locally on Facebook recently, and I used something called Facebook Pay. Mm -hmm. It works just like PayPal. You can send an invoice, and they just, I mean, it just connects, I think, through your PayPal account somehow. Probably. So, I'm not sure. Oh, thank you, it. Lloyd Wagoner. Jason Elliott. So Antarctica. Sweet. Check that out. What? That's awesome. Jason Neely says he's watching from Antarctica. Oh, uh, that's cool. Awesome. Is it cold there? That's what I want to know. Yeah, you know it's cold there. I watched, what was that book I read? Um, really quick, since you're off topic again. Somebody Sorry. asked, I don't know who said it, wants to know if you're going to do a Canada slash U.S. giveaway. Something where we can give away to Canada. Would this <laughs> I know. I want to, but the problem with that, Canada, not all of Canada, but certain sections of Canada have very restrictive very hard rules on if you can give away in that province. I think y'all call them provinces. Uh, so like Quebec, you actually have to have a physical location there to be able to give away anything there. And then there's other rules that go with it. The giveaway rules, the international giveaway rules, even like Puerto Rico, even though it's a U.S. territory, there is certain rules that apply that won't allow us to do those things. So it's not really that we don't want to. I would love to do like a worldwide giveaway, mm -hmm. but there are certain rules that, that apply that won't let us do that. Sorry. So maybe you could figure out where that, you know, these people are from and see if there was something some way. I'll do some digging and see if done. I can do a giveaway where I can exclude certain, the ones that are, have the really harsh limits. We'll Ms. Wirtz, are you talking location update for us? I know you got in here just a little bit late. Oh, Mo's asking questions too. Really, that's, I mean, y'all, you do y'all have any other idea? Oh, eBay. That's what I just want to cover, eBay. Yeah. eBay, a long time ago, we was able to sell quite a bit of stuff, not not woodworking stuff. We weren't into woodworking then, but we were selling other things on eBay, uh, just household items and stuff. What is that? Yeah, oh, I got much. it. I got it. I couldn't see it. And uh, so <laughs> eBay, their fees are crazy. She can tell you more about eBay than I can. When she gets done writing, but eBay um, stuff—they've so, changed a lot of their. Like they're not no longer associated with PayPal, so it makes getting money harder. It's really weird, and people are. Um, I've seen a lot of forums. People are, what's the word? Cautious with it right now because it's making a lot of people nervous. Mm -hmm. So eBay now, you have to give them your social security number. You have to give them your bank information. All this different stuff. If you want to get paid through them, used to. All that was set up through PayPal. It went into your PayPal account. You could draw the money directly to your checking account whenever you got ready. Mm -hmm. They don't do that anymore. So now, every time you sell on eBay, the money 
goes into your eBay account minus any fees that you're going to have. And then it takes three days, roughly three to five days. It's been taken so far for, uh, for me. I sell stuff on there. Um, and then they send it directly to my checking account. I don't have an option of downloading it or leaving it in an account. Mm -hmm. I always liked leaving my money in my PayPal and then I would, cause I sell things like handbags and things like that. And then I go back and spend it again. They don't do that anymore. It's like goes, having a, yeah. uh, uh, prepaid card. On, yeah, I, mean, prepaid. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's, it's different and I didn't, I really don't like it as much, mm -hmm. but it's just part of it. I was also very apprehensive about putting my information on there. Um, but it, if they ask you for it, it really is legit. That's what they're doing with it. But I think it's going to, in the long run, save money because you're not going to have those PayPal fees. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a way to... The graph says they fees. have a managed payments now, and it's actually good. Yeah, I, I think it's a way to save money. I've, I've only sold a couple of things since they've switched over, but you know. And the, other, the last one I want to talk about as far as online selling is Amazon Marketplace. So you can, or Amazon handmade. And so you can actually sign up for handmade things like 20 bucks a month for, to give you the privilege of selling on their platform, which uh, I kind of, it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I, I actually started signing up for the process. So I'm going to put some stove covers on there. And then I got so busy with the Etsy sales. I never finished it, especially when I got to that $20 paywall. I mean, that's, that adds up 20 bucks a month just to be on their platform to sell. I didn't really care for that. So I never wound up selling those, but I know that there are several people that have went on to Amazon handmade and they do pretty well on there. And then you get the benefits of being on Amazon. So people searching for things on Amazon, you're st even on their amazon.com though, your Amazon handmade stuff will actually show up on there. So that may be another option for you. If you're looking to kind of diversify your stuff, especially if you're able to sell a bunch of stuff or make a bunch of stuff uh, that you're selling and, and if you're making crafts or small woodworking items that you're trying to sell online, uh, I would definitely try to diversify uh, where you're putting those things because you may get picked up in the algorithm on Amazon where you're not on Etsy or vice versa. So it's always good to diversify your income or diversify uh, where you've got your stuff put out there. So, so really quick. Uh, can I ask yeah. Paul Mood, you want to know I've, how to become I've, a supporter? Is that what got, you're yeah, I got it right here. Oh, you got it. Go ahead. You just give me a minute there, see? <laughs> so <laughs> we want to welcome Todd Keefe to the, our Wumba 6 Supporter Club, Michelle Bell to our Wumba 4, Ooh. Married Man, Wumba 6, and Woodcraft upgraded to the Virtual Fist Bump Crew. <laughs> now, Paul Mood <laughs> wants to know how to join. Yeah. So if you're on <laughs> desktop, in the description, there's a link. Oh, I'm sorry. Right below the video, there's a button that says join. And you just click that join button. It, it'll take you into that uh, next page it shows you how to join the membership if you're not on desktop in the there's a link in the description of this video that says membership talks about the membership you click on that and it gives you the membership area to get your same same place as a join button was so there's a link in the description or there's a join button thank you for joining us jeff better late than never that's right he says he's a huge fan thank you thank you very much uh, he's about to take the plunge what Ooh. kind of plunge I think he's like gonna polar go plunge? like full time, right? Oh, and that's awesome. That is? I didn't that's see what it. I would think. That's awesome. Y'all, um, make sure that you hit that like button yep. for us. Share this with your friends too. That big, helps us out a lot. T says so, earlier, smash. Yep, smash. So smash if, that button. If you come in late, look here. There is this jigsaw. Hmm. This is a fantastic Bosch jigsaw. I have one just like it. I haven't opened this one because I have one just like it. If you want to win this jigsaw, we're giving it away live on the show tonight. The way you enter is in the description. There's a link. It says enter giveaway, Bosch uh, Jigsaw to Gleam.io. You click that link. It takes you to the giveaway. And then here at some point in the future, we're going to give it away live on the show. You must be present to win. So go enter that giveaway. We hope one of you guys win this Jigsaw. This Darn awesome. it, Joe Southern. You keep missing the members only. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we had another one this, um, hey, this afternoon. The Netherlands is on here. Thank you, Rebecca Mayberry. Might <laughs> as well. Here's a coffee. For Matt to go with Amy's. Awesome. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> with look how many coffees from last week. <laughs> this morning I had to go to physical therapy before I had coffee. That's terrible. And I terrible. couldn't even hardly speak to my poor physical therapist, Tracy, the one who's wanting to do the epoxy yeah. thing. I was like, ah. when she let me go, she felt so bad for me. She was like, you can go get your <laughs> coffee now. <laughs> Rich thinks the giveaway is soon. Um, it 
You may be surprised. Scott says, never found the secret codes to get more entries. There wasn't a secret code. out. I left that on there by mistake. So I went back and took it off. Are you just messing with people now? <laughs> no. He's just not. messing with... Y'all, he's been so mean the last couple of days. I'm mean, dude. <laughs> I, I said you were mean, and you were, I was going to bring it up on the show, and then I said, no, I, I said, won't do that to you. No, this is not the way that went. Uh, 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 he would not let me touch his masca pocket hole Well, the thing. drill bit was in there, and it was I didn't want you to break the bit. That's I all I was trying to tell you. the lever, if you went, rrr, and he's, rrr. he said, no, don't do that. You're going to break something. And then he reached and did the exact same thing. <laughs> And then, thank you, Paul Mood, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, Paul Mood. <laughs> oh, two before supporter. <laughs> then he told me that I was making his uh, editing much harder because I tried to speak to him. <laughs> mean. You don't deserve coffee, Rebecca. Oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. He was making that dick. <laughs> yep. Sleuthy. I had a lot of fun. What? Breaking that dick apart. Oh, yeah, he did. And <laughs> the, a lot of people... Joe Southern. Oh, go ahead. The Bosch giveaway is next week. So mm -hmm. there's still time to enter if you haven't entered Australia. that. On that video, there's a Bosch giveaway link. You go to that. Gleam.os is the hey. same giveaway one. You know what time it is? Power tip time. <laughs> <laughs> so how many of you think that the giveaway is the power tip? Because it's 731. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> the power tip is... You gonna make it that easy every week. Go on. The power <laughs> tip is don't if you're posting products to sell online, especially when you first start out, don't use somebody else's pictures of their products and post them for sale as they're your own. Mm -hmm. I've gotten tons of messages. People say, "Hey, this is your picture. This guy's trying to sell in this Facebook group or this Facebook group." It's not cool. It's not cool. You don't use We've somebody else. It, it to doesn't. Us. I I always message the person like, "Hey, mm -hmm. man, that's my picture." <laughs> And, but I understand. So here's a lot of times people will send me a picture and say, Hey, can you build this? And I'll say, I'll look at it and say, yep, I can build something similar. Or if they're trying to describe something, I'll get a few pictures off of Pinterest or the internet or whatever. And I'll send to them and say directly, not in a, in a public post, I'll send to them directly and say, I can make something that looks similar to this, this, or this. And then we can kind of get an idea of what they're looking for. And then we can build to suit them from there. But if you're posting projects online, just don't use somebody else's pictures. And you're saying, well, what if I don't have pictures yet? Then you don't post it for sale because you mm -hmm. don't have nothing to sell. And I understand you You say, I can build this, build it, and then put it for sale. Because that's, that's how I started out. I built it, took pictures of it, mm -hmm. then we put it for sale. And if we didn't have pictures of something, we always told them, go to Pinterest, find something you mm -hmm. like, send it to us, and let us see if yep. we can make something like that. So uh, that's our power tip. Don't right. don't use somebody else's work as mm -hmm. representation of your work. Yep. It makes you look dishonest. It makes you look like um, you're trying to cheat them out of something. So don't do that. That's right. Rebecca, I would love that. Well, she said if uh, she could do coffee dates with us, she would love that. <laughs> That'd be cool. We would love that too. Her and so, her wife need to join us for a coffee date sometime. We need to yep. all have a big a convention. Okay, a coffee a fist bump convention. convention. A fist bump convention. Oh my gosh, I can see that. A two before convention. That's what it needs to be. A two before. Uh, so my boy builder, yes, we are giving away some pocket hole jigs very soon. Thank you, Vicky Wyndham. Welcome to the two before hey, supporter welcome. club. So if you go to masterproducts.com, they're a sponsor of some videos now on this channel, and they make some pocket hole jigs. I've got a review that's coming out Thursday of their stuff. So I'm an affiliate from them now. So there's actually a link in the description of this video. If you click that link to Masker Products, it's an affiliate link. If you buy anything there, we get a small commission. It costs you nothing extra. They're a small family-owned company that started out of their garage. We started out of their garage. They love their community. They got a lot of community programs they're working on. You can check it out on their About program. And so... Uh, we're giving away three of their pocket hole jigs. And we they sent me four. They sent me, a, if you can go to their website and look at it, masterproducts.com, or you can use the link in the description, whichever you prefer. You go to the website and you'll see there's an M1 an M or an M2 or an M1 bundle, M2 bundle. Mm -hmm. And so they sent me those four, M1, M2, M1 bundle, M2 bundle. And I'm keeping the M2 bundle because I like it. It's important to know too, um, this isn't about just because they sent on something. No. He's putting our name behind it because mm -hmm. he really does believe in the product. I think it's a solid yeah. piece. It really so, is solid. And had it, matter of fact, 
Armor sent me something too. I hadn't even told them yet, but they sent me a box of stuff and I haven't opened it because I'm working with Masca. So I'm probably just going to send it back. He's Unless, reaching out. I'm going to see what they want know. me to do. Yeah. But the Masca jig is really solid. Like everything's metal on there. The only plastic piece is a little dust, dust collection port that comes off the back, but the levers metal, the, all air, the jig parts metal, the base is metal. The extension wings are metal. The stop blocks or supports are metal. I got a full review of this thing coming out. It's coming out Thursday. I would, you guys should really check it out. If you're mm -hmm. considering a pocket hole jig, this one is solid. It is not jinky at all. So, Jimmy Long, I've I've told him about putting 731 some type of watermark on our pictures. The mm. problem right now is we've got so many of them out there already. Yep. Um, but yeah, we've talked about that. Tyler Garner, welcome to the One Before Supporter Club. One before. That's One awesome. Before. Thank you, man. Also, um, if you're new here, don't forget, link in the description below to that giveaway. We're going to give away I soon. I want to talk about this one. Dunrob, I, I hope I'm saying, Dunrob13 says, has PayPal ever took payment back due to a customer complaint? I don't think you I haven't had, had that, that happen. I, I know they can. Yeah. They can. Um, they normally but I don't. side with the buyer on that sort of thing. Um, we did have, we've had a couple of complaints through Etsy mm -hmm. because we had a lady say that we were supposed to build her a table and send it to her for $4 and she 99 cents. It was a, a digital plan. <laughs> and she said that she needed that table by Christmas and we said yeah. it was digital. And she said she was going to file a complaint, but when we sent her screenshots of all of her stuff, she pulled that back. Yeah. So I don't know, but we've never had that happen, but they can. Jesse Stomberg, Stromberg, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Uh, yes, I use. I have a regular camera that mm -hmm. we're using now. It's a Canon M50 that I've used for some pictures. But the iPhone 11 or whatever this thing is here, this 11 Max, that camera here Four, three, takes two, a one, better picture than as good a picture mm -hmm. than the Canon. Although I'm not a photographer and don't know how to work all the settings on there, but the iPhone does a fantastic job or any stuff like that. So I can't remember who it was. I just saw it on there. Said. You know, we were talking about having our convention <laughs> said that we need to take a fist bump cruise. A fist bump crew. Get it? Yeah, Cru crew. <laughs> she don't have boats, so. Yeah, I don't do boats. <laughs> who, I, who was it that said that? I thought it was so neat, and then I went right past it. Look, Dang man, it. I, I really want everybody to have a good chance at this, so. Yeah, y'all go in there. Up. It's a link in the description to that giveaway. Go make sure you hit it. We'll mm -hmm. draw live on the show. It must be live with Um. Four three two one said our next members only is going to be packed. We need to Tubacon. And some somebody said that we need to have like a, a coffee Zoom. We need to do a coffee Zoom. Yep, that'd, that'd be awesome. cool. Rebecca, Rebecca and I need to have coffee together. I love her name. <laughs> Tyler and all they don't take your paint very well. Plastic pocket <laughs> old plugs. So, so mask has actually got. I know this is kind of off topic, but mask is told me that they got some stuff coming this year too. So they're going to mm -hmm. start introducing new products. They have more than just pocket old jigs. They have clamps. They have the Viking arm thing. It's basically you raise, you can use it as a something to help raise things up and down. It's basically a backwards clamp. It's a spreader. So they have several things they're working on. So that's right. Don't forget to like and share this on your social media. We appreciate it. Don't, uh, be, don't be stingy because I know y'all want to win a jigsaw. You so want to share it with no one. Tony Go Go Goins, I don't know if I ever say Goins. these names right, mm -hmm. says watermarks are pretty easy to remove. So I I, uh, I guess if somebody's um, motivated, they can, you know, we've had it happen to us so many times and we've had to reach out. Um uh, yeah, we actually had somebody. Oh, married man woodworking. Thank you, Mo. So somebody tried to actually uh, yesterday on our Instagram. I got like 200 messages saying, hey, is this you? Is this you? Is this you? Somebody posted a picture of me with all those Bosch tools doing this. And then uh, they posted, they were sending people direct messages saying you won. Give us and, your credit card number yeah, or something. Yeah, wanted their credit card number, all their information. And a couple of people actually went through with that. And then they thought it was me because it had our logo. And it had 731 Woodwork. Not and, woodworks. And woodwork was lowercase, not yeah. capitalized. And so it was different. And they had one post and 200 or 100 followers. And so yeah. a lot of people was trying to buy into that. Well, a bunch of people was like, man, this looks shady. Well, they started messaging me and I got my phone blew up. My phone was going. Badoop, 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 yeah, badoop, he was badoop, outside badoop, working. Badoop. His phone was going nuts. <laughs> Josh says watermarks are like door locks. They only do so much. That's what my daddy always said. Uh, that only keeps an honest thief out. Yeah. That's what he always said about yeah. that. Uh, Paul, Mood, love you guys. How much do you, how long do you warranty your work? Uh, I've never really set a warranty on it. I mean, I just, 
I, I don't. I've never really thought about that. I'm, I mean, we talk about it, but it's yeah. not. I don't set a limit like lifetime warranty or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, how do I, I don't know how they're treating it. So I would just say, I, I think a furniture item should last. You know, you can guarantee it for a year or two or three, whatever you feel comfortable uh, giving a guarantee on, because you never know if they got you know, a bunch of kids crawling around on top of it and, Mm -hmm. you know, playing baseball with it or whatever. Nail Bender, that's awful. He's had people remove his watermark with their own on it. Nail Bender's talented, man. Lloyd Wagoner says that maybe Mo can get a new nightstand with that new pocket hole jig. (laughs) Alexander Adler, (laughs) there is a deck makeover video coming as well as a, uh, we're working actually, we've done the deck makeover yesterday, filmed everything. I think I filmed most of it. I don't know. I got pretty busy. I may have skipped quite a bit. <laughs> and then there's a... Yeah, uh, he said... I, I asked him, I said, are you still using the camera? He's like, oh, I keep forgetting to set it up. <laughs> and then there's a, a sectional build coming, which I'm videoing now. We started on it today, mm-hmm. an outdoor sectional. So we got some builds coming. Wait. Dylan is in here. What's Dylan up, is. Dylan? <laughs> he said, where's Foreman Charlie? I saw Foreman Charlie and I was like, huh? Foreman Charlie. Dylan, I think this might be your first live. It's our son. Dylan. That's our oldest son, yeah. Mo's brother. Mm-hmm. Her older brother. <laughs> Don't forget to enter that giveaway if you hadn't entered yet. Oh, Mo says she nightstand for Mini 731. <laughs> See, y'all started something with this yeah. kid because she, she is thinks short she's but stubborn. Now. <laughs> 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 she's Kenneth stubborn. Townsend, I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, review. I just Try to be honest on there, and uh, I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. I think they dropped the ball on that. I think they could have done a better job, and uh, I think they're oh, probably going to hurt them in the long run. She gave a sad face. <laughs> uh, Joe Southern says his new home is his new woodworking project. Awesome. Uh, Dale Bishop, uh, most of my equipment about, how to, about editing software do I like. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, if you're on PC, it, it's pretty taxing on a computer, but you can, it, it's really powerful. And if you got a pretty decent computer, it'll run pretty good. I've recently got this Mac and now I'm using Final Cut Pro X or 10 or however they say it. It is fantastic. It's, I like it better than DaVinci, even though DaVinci, I liked it a lot. It's really powerful and it just, it's just on this M1 Mac. Uh, if you, you want to pick up an M1 uh, chip based Mac, it runs smooth as butter. Dylan said emphasis on mm. short. Oh, Lord, our kids are going to be in here. The fighting. giveaway is for everybody. You have to be on this live stream to win on this jigsaw. Now, the mm-hmm. Bosch, if you watch the Bosch video, if you haven't, go, go watch it and enter. Uh, anybody can win that who entered. And then anybody that on this, I didn't announce this giveaway anywhere but on this live stream. So it's only going to be those who have watched the live stream and know about the jigsaw giveaway. Link in the description below to gleam.io. You may want to hurry because we're probably going to give it away. Oh, Mo said we're cutting out some. Uh, I can't do anything about it. I hope not. Sorry. Let's get this done real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Jcast25, I was about to buy a Craig jig the other day, <laughs> then saw your info about Masca over the moon about the super durable construction. They are nice. They're really That's nice. That's awesome. I think it'd be cool if I, I hadn't asked them. So hey, Lloyd's uh, son's name is Dylan. Also, awesome. I love that name. And so <laughs> I may see if the owner of Masca, really nice guy, if he would join us on the live show on April sixth, because that's the day we're going to be giving away three pocket old jigs. It'd be cool if he could come on and maybe just introduce himself, and maybe you guys can get some value out of that, learn about his company, you know, that kind of stuff. That'd be cool. Oh, my goodness. Uh, everybody else said they're fine. I, Mo, our daughter is the one that messaged me and said it was kind of cutting out. So it's you, Mo. Mm. I think you're just too short to get signal. Hold your phone up. <laughs> Dexter, yep. Uh, that, that video did pretty well for TikTok, for my first real TikTok video that I made actually for TikTok. And then I got another one I just put out on the... Uh, I, I want to put one on there of uh, me using... The Beat Saber thing. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's my some of my physical therapy for my arm. I can, I can go on that thing a little. <laughs> uh, Danimal the Animal. Always love his name. Can't tell you enough how refreshing it is to watch you guys interact with each other. Been married to mine for six years now. That's awesome. And remind her every day that she's my best friend. That's yep. awesome. Awesome, man. <laughs> we she's really, my best friend, too. Yeah, we really are that way with you. 
y'all get the real list and that, mm-hmm. that might be a good thing but it may also be a bad thing sometimes because <laughs> <laughs> we do tend to talk over each other and we're just we just have fun together so i love them uh, 731 who works oh, is Timothy, my TikTok name. Who 731. thinks Mackenzie should get in the shop and learn to make her own nightstand. See, you've got the right idea. If you can... She Tim, getting Timothy's, out of bed. Yeah, she Timothy's laid, got the right idea. Nah, so, Mo, if you're willing can. to get out of your bed, you can't <laughs> sit in the shop while you work. Y'all, she sits wherever she goes. <laughs> she, she does a lot around she, here, though. She, she does. Really does. She, she is a very hard-working person. She, how many jobs does she work? A bunch. I don't know uh, how Rick, many jobs this kid has with a 4.0 in yeah. her last year of college. Yeah. Rick, should I have my own Facebook page or is it okay to share with my wife's crafty page? If I was building woodwork, I would because you're going to have two different audiences there. You're going to have people who want crafts and you're going to have people that want woodworks. I would create my own and kind of establish that because if you're if you're you're you don't want to confuse your audience uh, <laughs> on who you're selling to. Lloyd said that you're shaking your head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kenna Townsend's been married 20 Congrats, years. Man. Frank Schwartz, nine. A good There is just nothing better than a good marriage. I'm telling you. I don't know when the price of lumber's coming around. I mean, it's, uh, uh, we just dropped. Did y'all see that post he made? 500 bones on a. Yeah, it was and like a little. And then we had to go back and get some more. Just, it was almost 200 All yesterday. it was, it was only, it was like, was it six or eight four, two by fours? I bought four deck boards and six two by fours. No, you bought three tuba twelves when you went uh, back. That's what I got. Yeah, it was like we wanted to spend over five hundred dollars on lumber just for handrails and to mm-hmm. replace a few deck boards and stair treads. It was. It was more than five hundred. It was a lot. When that's I went I back, just over five hundred. No, no, no. When I went back, it was two hundred more. No. It, was it was a 700. lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. He can add. <laughs> two plus two is five. <laughs> yeah, Mo does three jobs to bait. Yeah. Uh, plus Jake Strong, uh, Stocksberry, Stooksberry. Uh, should you do an Etsy shop? I mean, that's up to you, depending on what you're selling. If you haven't seen my Etsy video, go watch that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then if you go back on the stream, if you missed that part uh, on the rewatch, just rewatch the part where we talk about Etsy. Etsy's a good place to sell there's, stuff. There's gotta, people wanting you to do a course on Etsy. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm going to get on that in a few weeks, Yeah, uh, hopefully. And I want to build a five or six hour deep dive course. We'll start mm-hmm. out setting your Etsy page up from scratch. Congrats, and you, of course, you Randy. can skip over that if you've got one already set up. But we'll go through the whole step by step how to make listings that actually can rank in search or have a better chance of ranking in search, what tools you can use, uh, and then how to get those sales. Because I was doing pretty good on there before we pulled all our stuff off and started just doing content. So it's uh, it, you can bring in some pretty good money on Etsy, but you have to do it right. And you have to have it set up right, and you have to sell the right products. Big products, I don't ship big products, in case anybody. Oh my goodness, Dwayne, 47 years. That's awesome. That's Deborah, 26 years. Yeah, that is awesome. Love all this. Well, anytime, how about, anytime yet. You're not gonna let it, you're not ready to do it yet. I don't think I can yet. Oh, he had it set for a certain time. So let's see how many. So minutes there's it. been 305 entries. That's awesome. If you haven't, if you haven't went and registered or entered, you have 102 seconds left. 102 oh, 100 seconds. seconds left. 100 You've seconds. You got 90 yet. seconds to enter the giveaway. Link in the description below. Thank you, below. Stephen Click Estin. Back. Welcome to our One Before Supporter One Club. Before. Uh, married man, we are going to try to do an epoxy video very soon. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a lady that's going to come and work with him to do epoxy on cedar. Oh, man. You know what Some I forgot to talk about? What? After the giveaway, if y'all are interested, I'll talk about setting up your own website. I meant to mention that. Oh. I forgot to. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then, Married Man, our time lapse of the deck mech over, a detailed deck mech over, outdoor sectional. Uh, I don't know if we do a whole time lapse and then a detail. Yeah, we It'll might probably not. be mixed. They're both mixed because mm-hmm. I didn't do a whole lot of talking on the deck mech over because I built some handrails. And Larry, then, that's awesome. 42 yeah. years. Oh, slew the compass from Canada. Can't be part. Well, John said divorce 17. Well, <laughs> you know what? I've been divorced for a very long time, too. <laughs> Not from this guy. Not from you. <laughs> 40 seconds left, and then we're going to draw the winner Jar Jar, of the giveaway. Jar Jar, made it there yet. So be sure to share this with your friends. We appreciate that a lot. Uh, it helps helps the live stream grow and get more people in here. Uh, D-Rised, what method do you use to seal or paint the edges of MDF? I don't use it. I'm not using any of them. 
so you don't know. Mm -mm, sorry. Uh, Lloyd Wagoner says yes on the website setup. So ten we'll, seconds. Ten, ten seconds. seconds. Who you think it's going to be? You got to be live to uh, win, really? though. Yep. So you have to be on here, which so means when, you have to. When I draw it, I need to know if it's you. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to post a All comment. Right, so it ended. We had nine. <laughs> Y'all went and blasted them entries. We went from 300 <laughs> entries to 1,954 entries in like four or five minutes. <laughs> so almost 2,000 entries from you guys, man. That's oh, man. funny. That's fantastic. <laughs> so I can't show the drawing live because it'll show somebody's information. Information, And then so when I click the draw, I'll share my screen after it's drawn. All right. So one winner wins. Come on, hit draw. The bush. Honestly, watch the bosh. Ready? Yeah, hit draw. Ready? Go. Oh. It's drawing. Yes. How's it going to be 10%? Jason Priestlier. Ah, Priestler. Uh -huh. Yeah. Jason Priestlier. He's on here all the time. Yep. He is the winner. Winner, winner, winner. Let's see if he's on here. I hope he hasn't jumped off. Jason, if you're on there. Yep. Come on, Jason. Let me see you. If not, we're going to have to go to somebody else. So <laughs> let's hope he's on there because he's on here a lot. Yeah. Let's give him time for the lag yeah. to catch it because it's yeah. a little bit behind. It is. Hey, let's stay see. tuned because I'll redraw if he's not on here. Oh, poor Jason Manila said, I thought it was me when he heard Jason. <laughs> oh, man, Dang. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, but I don't see him uh, on here. here. Come on. What are we going to do? Let's see. I haven't seen a. I'm going to do an at and see if he's on here. I mean, it would add him earlier if he was on there. Yeah, it was. Oh, it's there. He's there. Hey, hey. Jason. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey. Yeah, he's right, man, on there. I got your uh, he email. He said it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I got your uh, email, and I will, uh, after the show, I'll reach out to you. And uh, where'd he go? There he goes. So after the show, I'll reach out to you and uh, get your shipping info, and I'll get it to you. Can you show it without putting his uh, email on there? I think I think now if you go to the landing page, yep. Okay. So, Can you share that? Yep. Awesome. Well, actually, it was a little over two thousand entries. Was it? Yeah. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Congrats, there Jason. Go. He so, said, "Phew." <laughs> <laughs> Did you step away for a second? That's funny. <laughs> Jason P. Number sixteen eighty two. So he got in there on the end. So snuck in there and snuck it away from you guys, Jason P. That's congrats, funny. man. Happy for you. <laughs> Uh, Margaret said you need to get with, oh, thank you, great grandpa from Arizona. Thank we you, love great grandpa. Great -grandpa. Mm -hmm. Uh, said you need to get with stone coat since they did tabletop like cutting boards to come on. They do epoxy coating on a lot of wood items. Yep. I've heard a lot of good things about them. It'd so, be cool if we could find one that would be willing to send some, send some stuff totally to send work me with anything her. I want. She They've already told me to let, let them know, and they'll send me some. She but. said to let her know. She'll come whenever. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, you're going to love yeah. Tracy. So if you, we're talking about selling on your own website. I, I really meant to get that in on the front, so a bunch of people who don't watch the whole show is going to miss this. But So I've got a website. Oh, his I phone my, lagged. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. I'd have felt awful, man. <laughs> yeah. I'd have probably just bought you another one and sent it to you. <laughs> so if you're selling on your own website, a lot of people ask me, should I have my own website? Yeah, you should. It's 20 on. So if you do it through Wix or Squarespace, Squarespace, there's several places that have them. I've got mine set up through Squarespace. Now a 20, 20 to $25 will get you a website. And then basically you're going to buy your website and they, they have templates that they can use to set up your website. So I actually just bought a website and got it up and it's not really up and running. You can go check it out if you want to. I haven't got any, the links don't work yet or anything. Through Wix, it's uh, it's pocketholeking.com, and so if you go to pocketholeking.com, you'll see it's very very simple. So I've got one. My 731 works is through uh, Squarespace, and then Pocket Hole King is through Wix. Wix is very easy to use, like a lot easier than Squarespace. But Squarespace, they both have where you can add online stores that cost more per month if you do e-commerce. So if you're selling anything on your website then you're going to have to pay a little bit more, $35, $40 a month, depending on what you're selling and what type of features you want. But I recommend anybody getting a website and start getting your portfolio out there. That way you can send people there uh, when they want to know, hey, can you build this? Instead of sending them to a Facebook page because not everybody has Facebook. Some people mm -hmm. frown on Facebook or whatever. But you can send them to your own website. And so if you have, you know, blah, blah, woodcraft, 
com, then you can send them there and then you, you'll have it. So, uh, the reason I got pocket old com is because, uh, brother Reeve suggested it would be a good name and he sent it to me. He's like, Hey, you should really buy this. And I was like, cause I've been joking around that I was a pocket old King just, just for laughs. And then I said, yeah, you know what? I like it. And I told yeah. her the other day, I said, it's kind of sticky. I like he it. He likes that. <laughs> Frank Swartz says that he and Jason are kin. They're well, related. So can they have two? Two what? <laughs> he did not get that joke. <laughs> Did this month? No, hey, Jason's the winner. Oh, Jason. I'm sorry. I didn't hear the first part. Frank said, hey, Jason Priestler and I are related. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we I have got two? You. <laughs> hey, keep, stay tuned because we got the Bosch <laughs> giveaway coming. We got the or Bosch. The Bosch router giveaway is mm-hmm. next week. The next week, April 6th, we've got three pocket OGs to give away. You don't have to be present on those streams to win, but the, the, the pocket hole giveaways mm-hmm. will be announced in the video coming out Thursday. That you'll be able to figure out how to win from there. There's three of those that you can win, three different ones, an M1, M2, and an M1 bundle. And then uh, there's I've still got a giveaway. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to do it at. I've got a circular saw, a battery power circular saw Bosch, and an impact. And then I also have a sander, a five-inch orbital Bosch sander to give away. And I don't know if I'm going to do those on a video or if I'm just going to like throw them on Instagram or Facebook or something. Frank bought... I don't know. He said he bought blah, blah woodworking. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, home fitness says, what's your day job? I'm a state trooper. And I'm a school teacher, middle school. Uh, no, Callie <laughs> over Etsy. No, not if you're, not if you're looking for to start generating sales quick, because it's really hard to get ranked in Google search versus oh, getting you, ranked EP. on Etsy search. Go watch my Etsy video. I kind of go into detail on how to do your stuff on Etsy. But I, if I was just selling products, small products that you can ship, in other words, they're no more than yay big, you know, that you can put in a box and ship them, then I would look at Etsy. If I was selling large items, then a, a, a website may be the way to go. Oh, thank you, Chris Parmalee said... Thank you for your service. Be safe, Blue Brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. We back the blue in this house. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't. I. I doubt I get rid of it. I've used it for a while. So. Eric says you are the pocket the king. king. Pocket old king. Pocket, pocket old king. king. Oh my goodness. Ep said you're his favorite YouTuber. Hey man, I appreciate that. I really do. I'm Thank a, you a lot. I don't know if Ep it, that could go either way. So somebody told me the other day every time I said pocket hole, their cat looked up at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I know. I wonder why. So if you're watching, pocket hole, pocket hole. <laughs> <laughs> if your cat's watching this stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I th- oh, Michelle said they back the blue at home also. Awesome. Love it. Pocket hole university coming soon. <laughs> pocket hole you. That pocket hole you. That, oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all are, See... Y'all make him think things about this pocket hole king and all that. I need a crown, y'all. Somebody that's got skills to cut a wood crown. Y'all gonna, need to hook me he's up. He's going to be wearing a wood crown. A wood crown, crown pocket hole king. <laughs> this is why he started being mean. He's pocket hole king. I'm, he's, he is kind of mean. She's lying. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do if he was ever mean to me because in 20-something years, he's never been mean. <laughs> A wood crown built with pocket holes. Genius. Genius. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Brent. Brent. <laughs> I can't say you later. I can't either. I can't even really see it. Seslica? Seslica? <laughs> oh, Lord. I sound so uh, Brandon, bad. Brandon, the, the, router, uh, the router's being given away. Wood. The router's being given away next week on next week's live stream. So you didn't miss that. Uh, uh, Jason Priestler won the. Bosch jigsaw tonight, so you still got time. The uh, I hope and I hope I didn't mess it up. Y'all let hold on, y'all bear with me. Gary, look at the make sure I didn't mess something up. Jim Middall said, as a truck driver, he really appreciates the boys and girls in blue. My daddy was a mm-hmm. truck driver, he never My really appreciated too. them very much. <laughs> <laughs> he got a lot of tickets. Hey, we appreciate truck drivers, man. You guys, yeah, y'all, y'all keep the world rolling. I loved loved it when mm-hmm. I was growing up. I loved playing in the truck when he was home. I loved playing on, he drove a, he always pulled a flatbed and I loved playing on that. That's how he taught me how to shoot a gun. He 
he would line stuff up on one end of the flatbed trailer and make me sit on the other with every gun we had uh, packed with stuff, and I had to practice it. Thank you, R.H. Harley guy. Awesome, man. Welcome to Thank our 1x6 Supporter Club. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Is it worth the uh, money for a pocket hole? Yeah, you, man. Did you figure out on that? Give, what yeah, we're, we're still... We're, uh, it's six days, so the Bosch the Bosch uh -huh. giveaway ends next week. Next okay, Tuesday night. Okay, so it night. is set up yep. correct. I just make sure. Uh, oh, Chuck and his wife been married for thirty years. Congratulations, Jesse man. says. Do you do joinery other than pocket holes like dovetails or box joints? No, I'm not on that. I've done some dado stuff, but I don't have any. I don't have a box joint jig. Although I was looking at one the other day. Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh. Man, he just left me. Leto Art. Anyway, and he makes a box lead. joint jig look easy. So I, I thought about actually trying something. Uh, I got to have to do that. I need a um, flat cut table saw blade because the one I've got leaves a little hump. And so if you get a flat tooth one, it'll actually cut square. So, yeah. Jim said, I appreciate them controlling silly drivers. Don't really appreciate <laughs> them in my rear view. You know, uh, they used to get on their, um, the CBs, is that what they're called? I don't know, it's been yeah, so long. Yeah, CB. Their CB radios, and they, uh, my dad was Gator. Uh, hmm. That was his handle, uh, and they would always warn each other. I used to think that was so cool when I traveled with them. <laughs> Frank says, if I get pulled over, can <laughs> I drop your name? You can try it. Right, <laughs> won't hit me. <laughs> uh, mullet boys, uh, so if you'll go look at, uh, just search 731 beginner woodworking project. Mm -hmm. I think you'll see there's one that's got some chevrons. I'm holding a chevron and like a uh, square piece of wood. It's actually a lazy Susan. And so that, those two are really good beginner woodworking projects. And somebody asked earlier, I, I meant to answer you, I'm sorry, what, how much we sell those for. So the, the lazy Susan, like a regular round one made out of spruce, about 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks, depending on the price of lumber right now, you have to adjust that price up. But, and then the one that I made out of hardwood, I'd sell that for like 75, 85 bucks. Danimal, the animal that is so cool. He says his father-in-law is a pastor and partners with Metro a That's lot it. in Las Vegas. So they try and serve support the first responders as often as Very they cool. can. That's Very cool. cool. Um, Dennis says, anybody use the new Armor Jig Pro Pocket Hole Jig? Is that the one that you... That uh, it's in the box. in the box. He hasn't used it, um, Dennis. He's... He's probably going to send it back since he's working with Masca. He's going to reach out and talk yep. to Debbie him. Debbie just asked why the switch to Masca. Uh, Masca actually, uh, so 1915 Woodworks on Instagram and and TikTok, uh, he's actually fixing to start a YouTube channel. I mean, him has been uh, friends for a few months now, and uh, he was a viewer of the channel, reached out to me. We've been talking back and forth, become pretty good friends. And he said, hey, man, you really should look at this Masca stuff. They make some really good stuff. And I know the owner, and he's a really good guy. And so he basically said he hooked us up to talk to each other. And so they they reached out to me through Brandon asking me if it was okay. And so they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to work with them. And I looked through their stuff, and I'm like, yeah, it looks pretty solid. Then I looked at their about page, and then I uh, actually got a call from the mascot owner, and we talked for a little while the other day. He started in his garage building this company. And basically how he got his start, and I'll, I would like to get him on the, the stream to tell his own story, but uh, from what he told me, he he was in his backyard building a table with a pocket hole jig, and he didn't like it. It was not good quality. He said, I can do one better. And so he had somebody, he sourced it out and had one made. And when it come in, he still didn't like it, so he'd done some tweaks to it and come up with the design he has now. Everything on the thing is metal. All the knobs are metal. Everything's metal. And so everything except for the dust collection shoot and then so everything everything on there is metal and he, he guarantees it for life he started out of his garage he's a small family-owned business and then also they do uh, some work in the community if you go to their page and put the about so they're they all line up with everything that i like about a company to do and so that's why we decided to partner with him <clears throat> uh lumber dad said fourteen hundred dollar <laughs> stimulus check he can get two, two <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's hilarious cool, still high yeah, the stuff is high. Um, well, I think we are kind of out of our time. Mm -hmm. I want to thank some special watchers tonight. We've got our oldest son, Dylan, on there. Thank you. I love my my kiddos watching. Uh, we've got Mo watching, of course. And then her friend, Kathy, is here tonight. Kathy's my boo. 
So thank you guys for watching <laughs> and thank all of you out there for joining us again this week. Thank you very Join much. Join us next week when we come Seven back. Three. Six time. We'll do yep. it. You want to do members only again next week? 630? Yeah, I think we should. Uh, we got a whole lot of yep. new members, so let's do another members, members only, only next uh, week. Members only 630 p.m. Yeah. If you look on the community mm -hmm. tab uh, of the, our Facebook page, you'll see both members only and mm -hmm. always put the members only one and the uh, regular live stream on there. So if you're interested you'll know where to go to find the live stream link. So I know a lot of times it's kind of hard to find, but it's in the community tab. Go to the, our webpage. Dylan YouTube got account. timed out by a sister. She better <laughs> not have beat her. <laughs> Join us next week yep, for the you. members only. Let's have a cup of coffee when we do it. Yep. yep cool. Let's do this. All, All right. right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Good night. Good night.